Okay, welcome back everyone. I'm once again continuing on with my setup of Travis CI for the Codependent Coder Repository. So in part one of the series, I got the basic integration with Travis and GitHub set up. And then in part two, I got my Travis, or I, sorry, I got Travis running my tests, that is my linters. Uh, where that video left off though, was that test failures didn't block or otherwise prevent one from continuing on and merging the pull request, which is an ideal. So let's go ahead and set that up. Uh, so that's in your GitHub settings for the repository. Under branches, if you go to branch protection rules, you pick a branch and you say, I want to protect this branch. And typically you set this up for your master branch. You could set it up for other branches as well. I'm totally up to you. Um, in my case, this one makes sense. Um, you can require reviews. Given the I'm the only person who works on this project, I don't think that would be really necessarily productive. Um, but we do want the status checks to pass and you can specify which status checks to pass. And what I want is I want the pull request check to pass. I could pick the branch one as well, but I, I really feel like that's redundant. I think it's perfectly fine just to say the, the pull request one because the pull request check is based upon whatever's in the branch. Uh, you can require sign commits and you can enforce that the, um, these restrictions apply to administrators as well as non-administrators. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. So what we'll see is when a pull request, when this pull request gets changed, I won't be able to merge it until the build is complete. So right now I can, it can still merge because it, the checks have passed. So let's actually do a change. Flip back to VS code here. I am going to simulate a failure. So I'm going to open up one of my old articles here and let's introduce a markdown link lint error. So I made a really, really, really long line of garbage and you'll see now I have some markdown lint errors, but this should actually flag an error and we can even try that locally. So if I do the lint, the things, this should fail. You can see markdown lint error, error one. If we look at the status code, it's non-zero, so that's an error. So this should fail the quote unquote fail the build. So failure CH 171 and push it up. And once that's there. You'll see that now already the, the, the change has been picked up by GitHub here. Uh, checks are running. You'll notice I cannot merge this right now because the checks haven't completed. Um, you also notice the checks show up on, on this tab here, um, which is kind of nice. If I flick back to Travis here, you'll notice there's two builds in progress. And again, this is one is the branch and one is the pull request. So this is, I believe, the branch build. And then this is the pull request build. So the only one that really matters in terms of the mergeability, given the way I've set up the, the branch permissions is this pull request one. Oops. And there we go. Uh, again, the mark simulating the failure, um, this thing exited with an error code. Um, anyways, we can see that this, you know, this is an angry red color. Uh, it's failed. Wah, wah. And if we go back to the pull request, we should see that this thing will not let me merge it. So if I refresh, all checks have failed. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. And again, I cannot, I broke the build. I gotta fix this. So let's go ahead and fix that. And we can do that by just putting this file back the way it was. Actually, that's, that's a terrible message. Um, remove simulated build failure. Push that up and then the same thing should happen. It should automatically. Yep. There we go. Notice the change triggered the build in, in Travis. If I go to Travis, we again have two builds running. One of which is the pull request build. And I'll let that go for now and just leave that running. And we'll, I'll come back to that in a second. And once it's done, we should see the pull request, um, 
these tests should go green, or sorry, checks should go green. And once that happens, I should be able to click the merge pull request button. And then we can see what happens when a, a change lands on master. Uh, so this is the first time. So again, this pull request targets master. And I can merge it now because the checks have passed. And I can confirm merge. And there we go. Pull request is merged. And if we flick back to Travis, you'll see that there's now a build running. What is that build? It is uh, the build of the master branch. So it picked up that change to the master branch and started building it. Coolio. Um, the actual build output here isn't going to be very interesting because it's going to be the same as effectively this guy. Um, it's just going to run the linters. But what we want is we want it to do an actual deployment. So this is where it's going to get exciting because we're actually going to have it do an actual deployment. Which we'll do in part four of this series. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.